Hey there everyone, Fatty here from Pack a Punch Traders. Just wanna do a review of the day and go over some of the tickers I'm looking at tomorrow. Uh today we had a great day with LLL. Captured the multi-day bounce. Here's the whole pattern. We got the spike and then here's the fade off the highs and now we're just looking for that momentum shift, shorts covering, um locking in their profits and some dip buyers coming in and you get this quick little short squeeze um there's that low is it low float yes low float so we do get a quick move um what else was part of this one moment oh duh my trade let me get into it so i was a little disappointed with this gap up here i would have liked it to be a smaller gap up i felt as though a lot of the Shorts getting squeezed, kind of got out pre-market, but there was still some more, you know, to be squeezed, 75 cents. So we get the failure to break down, and from there, volume gradually starts coming in as it's making higher lows. And usually the entry would be a 435 entry. I like it to set the high, fail to break down after a few minutes, five minutes of consolidation at least. And once it breaks that high, that shows me that it's confirming the momentum shift and that it wants to head higher instead of keep breaking down and have shorts be in control so if shorts were in control it'd probably just fade and now that bulls are having a quick little angle they're waking up you get um, some upward movement so my trade was 424 on this candle partial fill half of it uh, wish I had a market order and got all my shares, thousand shares, but only got five hundred, four twenty-four. And before I knew it, it was took off and got halted. And from there, it was just a patience play. I was aiming for five, as that's a whole dollar, half dollar level. Would be some resistance there, and it did face some trouble there for a couple minutes. But then after that, it wanted to test the mid threes, and I thought shorts would be coming in a little bit before. And start shorting into the spike before it touches the mid fives. So that's why I had an order set for 530 to get out. And that was just a beautiful quick exit. I was a little nervous here in this choppiness. But got pretty good exit I would say. We got this little fake out here. Low volume. You can see the whole day was just low volume. This is where all the action's at. This is the short squeeze that I'm looking for. After that, if volume continues, it could prop up and keep going up. But usually, after a 30%, 40% spike, it typically doesn't have enough steam to keep going. It does have overhead resistance in the past couple of days. As we can see here, we got beautiful right into resistance. We got solid resistance right here. The mid fives, low fives area. So... Yeah, and we got even a bunch more up in the sixes. So we'll see if this thing can hold up but for later. But for now, as you can see, huge fade. And that is LLL. Another pretty solid play popping up on the scanner was RKDA right out of the watch list yesterday. Was not a top watch of mine. Where are we at? Where are we at? I knew I had it on here. Right here. RKDA. 204 previous hot break. But volume needs to come back for a solid quick move. And volume was not totally there, as you can see. And that's why it was a gradual, choppy play. It did keep holding trend beautifully. But this slow, choppy, back and forth price action, that's all due to the volume. Uh, if there was more buying going on, it would have been more one-sided. And it would have got a quick short squeeze. From probably if it would have broken this 220 high, it would have really taken off to the mid to high twos all within 20 30 minutes rather than hours. Just didn't have enough uh, power behind it, and that's a good lesson on volume. Uh, float 20.4 million, so couldn't even get half of the float. So we'll see what happens with this, but low volume breakout. Not my favorite. It did offer a great move from the low twos. That confirmation of previous high here in the 210 area. 
but just too slow for me. LLL offered me 25% in a matter of like 10 minutes, and that's including the halt. This is offering 25% over hours. Let's measure, we'll call it 220. 220, 40%, or sorry, um, 20%, that's 44 cents. So that would get us to the 260s, right near the high of day. So yeah, literally would have taken hours to build up for 20% gain, not even 25. You would have had to held and go through some of this after hours move. Uh, we'll see what happens. We just want to go over this right out of the watch list, which is low volume. So something to go over and see how low volume plays um, kind of act even when the trend is still intact. It's just going to be slower and choppier. And you could make the same um, equivalence to big market cap and big float plays that, sure, they might have some solid volume, like, um, you know, just your typical blue chip companies. But the way they move, you're not getting 25, 30, 50% in an hour or less. So that's the power of low flow and high volume. So let's just let's just move on to the watch list now. Um, I'm really liking tomorrow AGRI. I was I've been eyeing this. It's been on my watch list from back here, and then I kind of gave up on it. And yesterday it showed some life. Today really showing some life. Lower volume though compared to when it was spiking here, but coming right back to the highs. We had a little fake out at the end of the day at 516, holding up decently here. It's going to be looking for a previous high of day break, which is only two cents away from the multi-day breakout level at 514. So I think this thing might be a great play tomorrow uh, to test seven probably, next resistance level. We'll see if we can get a move like that. But I will really be watching heavily this previous high day break, the way it reacts there, how the volume is there, how it holds up, um, especially with 12 million flow. It's already rotated today, so we'll see what it does tomorrow. If it invites more volume, we'll get even stronger moves than this. Uh, so that's one of my top plays. I'm also really liking PIK. We got another day of just failure. So just waiting for the momentum shift. Just showing me excuse me, signs of uh, bottoming. Got a little bit here, but just not enough. Ended up cracking the mid fours here, so we'll see if we get any lower but after cracking this level if this fails to keep heading lower and we start bouncing we get a little gap up tomorrow I'm gonna be pretty excited we got a low float play um, just incredible move from the twos area to the sevens just a great move just really looking for this quick bounce we got a lot of resistance up in the seven area not looking for it to get there probably just a quick 20 to 30 percent move let it get to the mid fives low fives so we'll see how how this turns out maybe it needs some more fading but this is going to definitely be on watch for a multi-day bounce once it shows signs of momentum shift uh, this is not a top watch but something to also keep an eye on rdbx this thing is just failing to keep breaking down we got a low float tomorrow is friday if this shows signs of Breaking out above 350, 360. I think shorts are going the past few days have just been fed up with it. More buyers are gonna come in and we're gonna get a nice move to the five area. Uh, what else do we got here? I don't want to make this too long of a video lesson. Uh, DPRO. Just looking for a quick bounce here. Uh, solid move, mainly from the gap up. Got a little push. And then now we're just failing, looking to fail to break down. Roughly, roughly 50% off the highs, not totally, more probably like 40. But this is showing signs of failing to break down here. If we get some volume, a little gap up, reclaim a VWAP, just failure to keep heading lower. And we're making a higher low today, so we'll see how this acts. But I'm really liking this for a potential bounce play as well. Um, <coughs> Whatever, let's just get into the EM here real quick. Another one, failing to break down. Low flow, Friday, tomorrow. We'll see if shorts get tired of this and start exiting. And if buyers start coming in as well. 
Um, so, excuse me. So we'll get into it later. We'll see what happens here, but we still gotta wait for that two break. Um, but yeah, let me just wrap this up. Hope everyone has a great night, good day of trading, and we'll finish the week strong tomorrow.